I had an extraordinary experience about 10 years ago. I was attending a leadership conference at the Kellogg School of Management and one of the participants was an individual by the name of Jaime Aramelo. He was from the country of Colombia. The person leading the conference invited him to the floor to give us a brief talk and tell us his story. I was so moved. I've written about him in the leadership book that I wrote, The Ten Key Principles of All Great Leaders, Leadership by Example. So he's a hero in his country of Colombia, hence the term Papa Jaime. His name is Jaime Aramelo. And his story is that about 40 years ago, he's 28 years of age, he's standing at a street corner in Bogota, and he's looking at these orphans who grew up in the sewer. There's a beautiful seven-year-old girl looking and smiling at him. And as they're having this interchange, a car comes around the corner, it stops in the middle of the street, a window rolls down, and somebody tosses a toy. It's a yellow school bus, Fisher Price. The car recedes, the seven-year-old girl comes running to the middle of the street, picks up the toy, she's beaming with joy, and she's looking at Jaime Aramelo. And as they're having this interchange, a truck comes around the corner and smashes her into oblivion. And Papa Jaime says to himself, this is my calling in life. I'm going to rescue these kids, adopt them. He has now adopted, housed, schooled, and fed close to 40,000 orphans. I turned to him and I said, how do you pay for this? How many staff do you have? He said, Sanjeev, we have a staff of 150. I have a bakery. The only thing we make is cookies. We have cookie jars next to the cash register in restaurants. People grab a cookie. There's a shoebox. They drop some change. I get 50% of my needs that way. I said, what about the other 50%? He said, Sanjeev, it comes. I'm a motivational speaker. I speak all over Latin America. I plow my own rarium, but that doesn't cut it. And then out of the blue, I get help. I said, give me an example. He said, well, a few months ago, I needed 41,000 US dollars to pay my bills. So I go to three banks. They turn me down. I said, Papa Jaime, you got, already got loans with us at the lowest possible rate. We can't give you more. So he's coming back to his office and there's a street woman across the street. She says, Papa Jaime, crosses the street, gives him a hug. And he turns to her and he says, are you hungry? She says, yeah, I'm hungry. He says, come to the office. You can have coffee and cookies. So she's in the office having coffee and cookies and he's on the phone calling three other bankers. And she can tell that he's being turned down. So she looks at him, she says, how much money do you need? He said, Sanjeev, I said to her, I need 41,000 US dollars. She looks at me, she smiles and she says, I'll give it to you. So Sanjeev, I said to myself, she's cuckoo. But she opened her purse, she had $60,000. Son had sent her the money to get off the street, move into a home. She looks at him, smiles, says, I've saved some other money, I can move later. You take it, your children need it. You have to take it, no questions asked. You can return it when you want, if you want. He says, that kind of thing happens to me all the time out of the blue. So if you meet him, you will see his radiant smile. He's one of the happiest people on this planet. He found his purpose in life some 40 years ago with the tragic death of that one seven-year-old beautiful orphan girl.